Are you listening to me? I want to show you that there are laws and there are principles that are working. I repented from castigating people and criticizing people. Any grace that I see, I humble myself. I say, Lord, you have empowered these people. Suddenly, sometimes, I listen to the tapes once. Do you know, aside from last week's tape, there is no koinonia message I don't listen to. I can easily say it's my ministry. I download it. I don't ask the media to bring it. I want it to cost me something. I download it. And every time I'm prophesying, or the man of God is prophesying rather, I get down on my knees. God is my witness. I say, Lord, I believe your servant is about to speak a word. I believe the anointing he's carrying. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. In John 21, the Bible says, Peter said, I want to show you something. Your skill can fail you. Are you listening to me? It was a time of recession. I was saying, Lord, give me a word for this recession. I've had many preachers and God showed me something. Do you know Peter was a fisherman? Realize that there was a time Jesus told him, go and fish and take the mouth from the coin. That means your potentials and your gift is supposed to bring prosperity. However, there are times it can fail. What law do you engage in when it fails? Let me show you. The Bible says Peter went to fish and found out that there was no fish. Suddenly there was no fish. A fisherman who used to fish all the time, there was no fish. And the Bible says, when you went, Jesus saw them. Listen to what Jesus tells them in John 21. He said, children. How many people is Jesus older than among the disciples? He said, children. It was a test of honor. Children, have you caught any fish? They said, no. He said, cast your net. That's your past the test. They would have said, children. Peter said, I'm married. They killed all your age mates from two years and below. I'm not older than you with two years old. How can a man call them children? My mother started calling me her father. I promise you, her poultry and her business just expanded. Hey, could it be that you have been missing something? Could it be that your miracle has been passing you? And you have been praying and hitting keys in the spirit without knowing which door is opening. When my mother came here, that's why quickly, before we said anything, I did what? I called her. I said, speak to this work without controversy. When it was time for her to go back, I packaged a dangerous seed and I went and met her. I may be your son, but this is not the issue of son now. I tapped into that grace quickly. Many of you see careers of anointings that you want. And you just keep looking at them all the time. Mukhtar, his laundry services is doing very well. He's a leader. He finished serving from Engineering Students Fellowship. And he's very good. Let me tell you a little history about this guy. Are you listening to me? For one year, Mukhtar came and was, before he started his business, he was dry cleaning my suit for one year. One solid year as a seed. He knew what he was doing. When you see the worship team and all these people doing what they are doing, they are tapping into graces. There are many of you, you are, your job is to grumble and complain. There are many people that I honor and sow into their lives. It's not because they are nice people. I look at the weakness of others and get the gold in them. I'm interested in the anointing. When, let me tell you, when I'm watching a man that carries something, I can slap you if you come to, dis, to, to, to disturb me. I don't, I'm not the kind of person that is in church. Before you do it, say, oh, I'm seen. And you are not getting anything. I give my rapt attention. My spirit is open. I'm saying, Lord, the, the guy may be joking for 30 minutes. I'm tired of this joke. Show me this key. And you sit down there. There are times I play messages of Benny Hinn. I'm not listening to the message. I just want to saturate under the anointing. And I'm praying in tongues. I'm praying in tongues. I'm praying in tongues. 
for about one month. That was the song that that was it was his worship songs that I slept with all through the night. They will play all through the night. I'm just trying to show you that this is not a mistake. Do you know that if you honor people, final yes, students, we have started our, our meeting with you tomorrow this night. Many of you see the ministers, you just come because they are your colleagues. You just tap them, ah, edgy, alpha. I'm not saying you just lie down and lick people's legs. But I tell you the truth. You can sit down and tap into anointing. I never go and see a man that is higher than me, empty-handed. No matter what happens, even if it is 10 naira, I must put it in my pocket. And at the end of it, I will bless him. Are you listening to me? I want to show you that there are laws and there are principles that are working. I repented from castigating people and criticizing people. Any grace that I see, I humble myself. I say, Lord, you have empowered these people. Suddenly, sometimes, I listen to the tapes once. Do you know, aside from last week's tape, there is no koinonia message I don't listen to. I can easily say it's my ministry. I download it. I don't ask the media to bring it. I want it to cost me something. I download it. And every time I'm prophesying, or the man of God is prophesying rather, I get down on my knees. God is my witness. I say, Lord, I believe your servant is about to speak a word. I believe the anointing he's carrying. I promise myself that for a long time, nobody will sow into this ministry more than me. It's not because it's my ministry. I believe in the anointing that is carrying. Many of you come and you just sit down and look at people. You see the ushers. You see everybody. God is opening doors for them. You are just smiling and looking and complaining and ranting and shouting and doing all kinds of things. I tell you, friends, if you obey this law, there is nothing that will not work for you. Your father was driven out of the job and his brother is still working. That's the time for him to go and greet his brother. Go and greet his brother and say, Ah, well done, sir. And when they get to filling station, the remaining 4,000 that is left, carry 2,000 inside and say, please get fuel. Insist that they use your money and sow into the anointing that is working. Do you believe this? Or many of you are still saying, is that all? Do you believe this? I tell you the truth. See, let me tell you. If I were some of you seated here, I promise you, I will never allow any anointing pass me by unnoticed. If I wake up in the morning blind, by evening my eyes would have opened. I will find everybody who is seen and clean their shoe. I will just say, I'm sitting with a rag and water, I'm blind. Everybody whose eyes is open, please come and pass. Let me wash your leg. When God wanted men, he sowed his seed into the earth. And Jesus gave birth to a harvest that is still happening till now. We are going to pray. I know we have taken time. But I am showing you a mystery that will open every door for you. Find careers of your anointing. Whether it's, even if it's only once you meet them in your life. They may not be men of God. Some of them may not even be born again. Hallelujah. We sow into the anointing. We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.